Welcome to Dare to Dream. This is Debbie Dashinger, and I have somebody that I am speaking with who's located, it's so funny, the world is so small. I want to say all the way in Costa Rica, but it's such an illusion these days. The world is truly small. And in just a minute, we're going to start an amazing conversation with Gerard Powell. And this is a, going to be a story of sex, drugs, and ayahuasca. He's got a book out. And thankfully, I can say the word shit on radio. And this is a copy, well, you can see a well-worn uh, red copy of his book, uh, which is great. It's, it's really spoken in his own voice, which I enjoy very much. It allows you to get to know him, but it really takes you on somebody's extraordinary life trip that will wind us up with who he be today. And I just want to say how honored I am because this show, Dare to Dream, and thank you for everybody who chose to nominate my show, Dare to Dream is now nominated for a People's Choice Podcast Award. And so I'd love you to go there and vote for the show because it's really at this point all about the votes at a time when there's a gazillion podcasts. And here's why I think it's more important. It's so much bigger than I, but the conversation we're going to have today and the conversations I am honored to have every single week, this is the stuff that the world needs to hear. This is the stuff that will change the world when you get to hear these exquisite people who are doing amazing things out in the world. So vote. So we get the award and others will recognize the show and find the show and tune in even more than they do. Thank you so much for your comments and your encouragements. I read them. As you know, I read your feedback and your love and support every week and how much you're getting out of this. It means a lot. So here's where you go to vote for Dare to Dream with Debbie Dashinger. And interestingly enough, because of the funny categories they have, we're under entertainment. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Because religion and spirituality feels kind of funky when it has the word religion connected to it. So entertainment, definitely. We'll take it. That's the reality we'll be in. We are at podcastawards.com slash app slash nominations. You do have to click, I think three times somebody said to get into entertainment. Clearly, you'll see Dare to Dream. Vote. Tell your friends to vote. And by the way, subscribe to the show. Leave us a review because, again, other people can find the show and enjoy the conversation, too. It helps and it makes a difference. So my question to you is this. What if you had a mission to provide every one of your clients with a life-changing experience that was nothing short of a miracle? And what if one out of every three of your clients rebooked with you before they left and you had a 96% life-changing satisfaction rate? Possible? Well, meet my guest, Gerard Powell. He is the founder and the CEO of Rhythmia Life Advanced Center located in Costa Rica. And this place and this man have a mission of passion. And this fuels his commitment to share Rhythmia's gifts with its guests. Gerard is a conscious thought leader, entrepreneur, philanthropist, and inspirational speaker. The Rhythmia Life Advancement Center is the go-to destination for a spiritually awakening vacation experience. Gerard also founded Truthonomics, an online program teaching skills and insights essential to a life of manifestation. One of the 1%, Jerry made his millions from creating and selling multiple companies, including ThatLook.com, a pioneer in mass marketing access to cosmetic surgery, and My Choice Medical Inc. And you can learn more about Rhythmia at Rhythmia.com. Jerry, welcome to Dare to Dream. It's great to have you. So nice to be here, today. Do you prefer Gerard or Jerry? Excuse me, please. Jerry is fine. Jerry's fantastic. That's so great. Well, uh, as I said to you before we started, I feel your East Coastness, your roots, and so <laughs> for me, it's like it's I so. Love that. Yeah, I'm from New York, so for me, it's really familiar. Your rhythm that you speak. <laughs> And here you are, we can see you're in a beautiful room, where I, like where I'd like to be on vacation right now. Thank you very much. So you are in Costa Rica, Arrhythmia, while we speak? Yes, yeah. I love, you know, it's a, it's a wonderful place, honestly. Tell me what is a typical day for you 
like they're in paradise. I get up every morning and work out and then I go to, I usually have a workshop a day that I do and then the normal stuff of running a business, we're a small business, you know, uh, um, under 200 employee business. So we're in that the smaller range and, and, but then because of that small size, there's lots of day-to-day uh, -day activities that I get involved in from management to accounting and all that. And then at the same time, try to talk with all the guests. Oh. So it's a, it's a full on, it's a full on job. This one's a big one, you know? It is really, a big one. Yeah. And you mentioned that, you, that there's a course that you teach. Is that the Truthonomics? Yeah, we do Truthonomics uh, a couple times a year here. It's a book that I've that I've written that's not out yet, and um, it'll be the next book that comes out. And I don't know, just uh, the the overall Rhythmia workload is half spiritual and half business. You know what that's like. It's a kind of it's a crazy thing to try to straddle. Yeah. Why Rhythmia? How did you or you and Brandy, your wife, come up with the name Rhythmia? So Rhythmia was the name of a of a company that I had for 20 years. Hmm. And it just when when the medicine uh told me to to uh to name this company, it picked that from something I had, which is crazy, yeah. Yeah, very crazy, yeah. I love it, actually. I think there's great ease in that when something is being birthed and it's an entity and it has its own voice. It makes life yeah. really easy than having to try to rely on logic and, you know, grabbing at straws. That's how people had to write books and create visibility out in the world. So that makes a lot of sense, actually, to me. Yes. You know what people may not know. So, you know, your bio talks about your success and all of that. But, you know, your story is... It's crazy, like it's a movie, right? It probably didn't feel like a movie while you were living it before Rhythmia. So before Rhythmia, for people who don't know, you were actually the personification of the American businessman, rich, powerful, unhappy. And most of your previous experience, you suffered. You suffered addiction, you suffered depression, and you were incessantly trying to fill that hole deep within and you didn't have a whole lot of success although you really did try so yeah. talk about jerry what's different for you what do you now know about how permanent healing can come about compared to all the other previous attempts before you had your experience with medicine uh -huh. so so prior to my my medicine experience i was you know in I think about, well, I had for five years, I had, I had seven day week uh, therapy for five days. It was six hours a day. Uh -huh. And I mean, that's a lot of therapy, five years. Of therapy. And, and previous to that, I had passages and I was always looking for the answer and I just couldn't, I could understand the words, but I couldn't feel mm. what that felt you know and uh you know it was just just uh i was so sad and i didn't even know what what happiness would look like or what normalcy was i didn't have a gauge on any of that so you know i was suicidal and, and tried to commit suicide a couple times right before trying plant medicine right it's very interesting. A few weeks ago, your chief medical officer was here on the show, Dr. Jeff McNary. Yes. What an amazing individual. And he, we talked quite a bit back and forth. One of the pieces he shared was the story from his perspective yeah. of running passages, which for those of you who don't know, it's a rehab place in Malibu, California. So he was the director at the time. He really wasn't taking patients and right. in comes this intake form and information about some guy named Gerard Powell and he's a hard luck case. They're having a lot of trouble. Yes. And for whatever reason, divine inspiration, <laughs> he is guided to say out of nowhere, I'll take this guy on. I'll take the case personally. 
So I know the story of that and the creation of Rhythmia from his perspective, but now I'd like to fill in the puzzle and get your story. So how was it for you being in Passages, working with Jeff all those years and all those days and uh, dealing and grappling with your addiction? Yeah, it was rough. Um, I think I was a rough client from his standpoint, you know, because I was, uh, I was really messed up. I had a lot of, a lot of things going on. And, and, you know, one thing that, you know, made it difficult or more difficult for me is that I had resources that I couldn't, you know, I couldn't, I had enough that I couldn't spend my way. A lot of people with addiction reach a bottom because they get in financial trouble. And that wasn't how my system worked. You know, I, I had enough resources that, that I wasn't going to get in financial trouble. So, so it's hard when everybody's telling you yes mm. to get, to get, you know, that everything's okay to get to, a spot that's bad enough to make a difference. But I got there not through financial issues. I got through my own depths through sadness and pain in my life, you know? Yeah. And that finally led me to the point where I, I, I searched for passages. And then after that, became involved in, in as a patient of Jeff's every single day of my life. And that went on for five years. And then then finally, it wasn't working. Not that Jeff wasn't working. That that uh, you know later I'd come to find that he was just trying to keep me alive. He wasn't even trying to to help me because uh, I was diagnosed with uh, multiple personality disorders that 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 usually result in suicide. Yeah, in most cases, yeah. And uh, so that's what I was up against, and I didn't even know it. And and I was lucky enough to, to get the opportunity to do plant medicine. And that just honestly changed everything in, a, in one night. Crazy as that sounds, but true. Yeah. Well, it sounds like, you know, you talk about a bottom. And of course, I, I very much understand what you're saying. And yes, finances was one part. For other people, their bottom is their health is just giving out. And there is a choice. They're going to be here or choose not to be on the planet. Of course, relationships or marriages or children or jobs. There's many ways being homeless that people can bottom out or not. And it's interesting because you're clearly on a path that's not a good one. Right. And your one thread to grab onto is when you get this offer from this crazy offer from a shaman, right? Who uh -huh. said, come do this thing. And did you know, did you have any idea what you were getting involved with? Did you do research ahead of time or was it just nothing else is working? Nothing else is working. And I, I was getting suicidal again. So it was time for me to do something. Yeah. So Lord, you take Dr. Jeff on a trip to Costa Rica to a not so fabulous looking facility yeah. and do medicine. Tell us yeah. about that. Well, actually Jeff came later, but mm -hmm. I went alone to, to Costa Rica and, and, and just had to a place that was not attractive or anything. And it just, uh, I took, the medicine and and got outside of my body and and flew to the moon and then landed on the moon and the moon started typing instructions to me and uh sounds as crazy as it sounds and and showed me uh an interactive uh scenario of me being sexually molested by my grandfather and i never knew that and i watched it in 3D, in living color, and and that was the thing that changed everything. I understood why it was the way that I was, and then it uh, it actually merged me back with my soul and delivered to me a new heart all in this one night. And then, uh, like the next day, it said that that I had to buy a place and do this for other people in a, in a, uh, 
a much higher way, a much higher vibrating way. And I decided to, to take that on and to do it and to, to come. And then a week later, Jeff came down with me and had a very similar kind of experience and decided that it was something that he wanted to do with me. And then after all this, he, he gave me a test called an MMPI. And this test is the, a, 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 a tool used to, to uh, diagnose mental disorders. And the crazy thing is I had nothing. So the, that medicine journey fixed me. And since that time, I've had a, that's five years ago, and I've had a really wonderful life of it. I, I, I met Brandy, and, and she, uh, she and I are no longer together, but she is my best friend and partner. She's here with me all the time. My son's vacation with her. Like, we're closer than we were when we were together. Uh, so I had the most successful relationship in my life. I don't have... Uh, a bad relationship with anyone. I used to have terrible relations, and uh, we're we're getting towards six thousand people here who've had the same experience as me, the same exact experience. We become, you know, the most successful ayahuasca-based center in the world, and uh, and or at least we we believe that. And and on TripAdvisor. We're the highest rated hotel of any type in the world, higher than the Waldorf Astoria, higher than, and we're a little, little place in Guanacaste, Costa Rica. Uh, so everything uh, seems to be working in some kind of harmony uh, that, that first this situation happened with me and then it's been replicated almost 6,000 times. And what's interesting about this is this, is that, that uh, nine, when people leave, they're given an electronic survey and the survey, one at the day they leave, one six months later, 94.72%, so 947 out of every thousand people say that they had that same experience. Merger, uh, who have I become? Merge back with my soul and heal my heart. They had the same thing. Yeah, it's in 97.55% of them at six months say it's still working in their life. And this was the week that changed their life. Yeah. So the same thing that happened to me is happening to them. And that's what's crazy about this place. Yeah. Hmm. I love that. I've read that too, but it feels really kind of yummy hearing you say that. That's so exciting. This is, by the way, a medically licensed place. So yeah. this is what makes it separate from everything else out there. I know for myself, because I am going, and many of you know this, you've been hearing me talk about this, and you're going to be hearing me talk even more because I'm really going to be pulling back the curtain and doing some vlogging independent of this. Oh, and cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm very much going to be expressing where I'm at right now. I'll be interested even to go back and see the succession of where I am, what I'm experiencing, and what occurs, and then who I become. I'm so open. Do you, I, I'm really curious, Jerry, do you feel like the medicine calls to us, that it literally brings us forward when it's our time, if it's our time to have the experience? Yeah, I believe that. I actually believe what happens is this, the, the medicine showed us that uh, all disease, all disorder, all addiction, all sadness comes out from the split of self. And so, so, and then from this particular point, when this becomes, when, when so people split to expand their consciousness. This is a, it's a part of the circle of life, the hero's journey. And, and then when that split, when there's nothing left in that split, that's when the soul uh, asks to come back in. And that's when the assist will happen energetically through medicine. So there's this whole process and it's a, it's a crazy scientific, almost arithmetical process of, of how this stuff happens, when it comes back. And it's a, it's a beautiful thing to be in a business where we can actually see these people 
you know, the, the thing is, when it happens to you, it's, it's wondrous. But when you watch it to ha happen to other people in a almost a mathematical rollout, and you think, wow, this is a soul factory. This is a, a place that just is involved in this process. And the process is happening uh, to people. It's just crazy. It's just, it's, it's so, I don't know, it's beyond words. It really is beyond words. If you go to TripAdvisor and you read what these people say, I mean, it's, a, it's really an amazing thing. You know, <laughs> it is. And you know? you're a part of it. I think that's so beautiful. But yet it takes such a crap journey and have such a <laughs> wound, you know, and it's almost like your soul knew, like you really were meant to go there to including, by the way, it, it, it makes so much sense to me to also see your history as a very successful businessman because yeah. you needed that aspect as well in order to create the gift you're giving out into the world right now for all these people who you must have so much compassion for around the healing aspect, because you've been there intimately. And now you can open the doors to this property you bought and that you're inviting all these people. Now you can come have your own experience. You run it as a businessman, you understand it as a human who's been through so much. And it seems to me like a, almost a soul's amends and a gift in a way. How does it feel for you? Yeah, it feels the same way. So like redemption is real. So this, this thing that, that people say, and, and then what's so funny thing, when you're, in, when you're in the cosmos, when you're in the astrals, and you see code, like tons of code, and you see balance sheets, people have this balance sheet of, of, of everything you've done in your life that's been good, and everything you've done, or everything you've done in your life that's helped people and everything you've done in your life that's hurt people and you see this balance sheet and that redemption becomes real that 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 you sort of can't undo what you've done but you can do good to balance these things out and it really is it's you know it's an archaic catholic uh thought process but there's r real teeth in it and, and and listen i've been dead uh, I've done lots and lots and lots of journeys, 270. Wow. Lots of journeys. So I've been over in that side a lot. And uh, and that side, which is the death side, right? That's that's where you go and you die. Yeah? The death side. It's uh, it's amazing the, the amount of truths that we experience in our life here that are ancient teachings and things that line up directly with what's going on on the other side. So, so there's a lot to it. There's really a lot to this medicine. There's a lot to life. There's a lot to progress. There's a lot to redemption. There's a lot to all of what you do with your life. It's, it's not just uh, a bunch of people trying to, to shame you or guilt you. It's nothing like that. It's that there really is this thing that you're supposed to move forward. You're supposed to progress. And you're supposed to become better at serving your brothers and sisters. This is the, the thing of life. Yeah. Mm. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, I'm going to be asking Jerry a little bit more specific about this idea of the life review, if you will. And we'll find out if that's something everyone experiences or if this is quite individual. Also, what is it like when you're a guest there? What does your day start like? What does your first day start like? and what unfolds as you're there. This is Dare to Dream, where I feature successful, fascinating leaders, cutting edge, who created really major goals. And I ask you, what would you do if you knew that you could not fail? What would it take for you to feel completely free and bold and frankly, step into your passion and also give back to the world? That's about creating dreams. So you can be part of the Dare to Dream podcast and radio team on your own. You can go to patreon.com slash dare to dream. 
and donate to the show. Why? Why for a dollar? Why for more? Because you make a huge difference in the machinations and the business and the operations of what creates this into being the big and awesome show that it is, that it can run the way it does. You have such a big purpose to fulfill, and I hope we support you in that. That's truly the goal. So if you'll go to patreon.com, slash dare to dream this is your number one transformation conversation it will always be free to you and you'll always be part of the team energetically and to help the show flourish and be sustainable on the business end go to patreon.com slash dare to dream and if you're just tuning in, this is Debbie Dashinger, and I am interviewing the American entrepreneur, Gerard Armand Powell, who founded Rhythmia Life Advancement Center in Costa Rica in 2015 after an experience with plant medicine, which helped him overcome addiction and depression. Rhythmia is a medically licensed luxury retreat center that focuses on spiritual awakening and facilitates plant medicine journeys, you can go to rhythmia.com. So yeah, let's start with what the guests experience. So okay. he's just flown to Costa Rica, which is by the way, a super easy trip and very inexpensive uh, flights. And so they've just arrived in Costa Rica. And what happens? What is the beginning ish of this journey look like? Uh, well, they get picked up by the airport in one of our vans, and then they get played videos about about walking the labyrinth, which is the first thing people mm. do when they get here. And they walk the labyrinth and they get checked in and then they go to medical to get their physical to make sure that, that you're screened for, for medical on the phone, but then you have a live medical when you're here to make sure you're okay to do plant medicine. And once you're cleared, you're given uh, a number of classes that are introductory. So it's a introductory class over what to expect and then the first night you have breath work which is transformational breath work and the next morning is workshops on on uh on how to drive the medicine because there's there's you know there's there's the medicine is such a vast thing without without having um somebody explain to you what some of the ins and outs are of the medicine you can waste a lot of time we have people that drink the medicine four and five hundred times and doesn't even it, it, they never get it uh-huh so yeah so so why well, i had a woman who drank over 640 times that came here and she's been drinking for 30 years and and said you know she wishes she came here first because she wouldn't have had to do that she had just drank, you know, one, two, or three, four times, yeah. So, so there's classes on that, and then, and then you go to lunch on Monday, and then there's usually a guest speaker, and we have guest speakers all different types, from Michael Bernard Beckwith to uh, uh, Foster and Kimberly Gamble. I mean, all so many different thought leaders, fifty a year. Almost then, everybody who's been on the show speaks at yeah. your facility. So it's, this is going to be like family. Yes. Yeah. And then, uh, and then you go prepare and you drink medicine. So the, the medicine program is four nights of medicine, two nights of breath work. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then, and then all the programming every day. And it's, uh, it's the results speak for themselves. The results are ridiculously amazing. Yeah. And there's yoga, right? And there's uh, organic yoga. food offered there. And what else? Meditation, colonics. There's a, a massage. Uh, there's, but there is a system to it. There's a system to, to every single thing, and it's uh, it's the sum of its parts that is that is so great. You know, it's a uh, the whole is a is a sum of all of these parts. What the, the, the thing that's um, most interesting is, is the transformation and the fact that it remains. People go to workshops all the time. And there's, there's a million great workshops out there. Uh, but one of the, the earmarks are is that after two weeks, generally speaking, the, the gains that were 
garnered in the workshop have been given back two weeks later. So, 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 and the reason that is that we believe is that the conscious mind, which, which represents only 3% of what your, your happiness is, right? Yeah. And in the subconscious mind is the 97%. And in all of these, most of these workshops deal only with your conscious mind. So they're great as much as 3% can affect the whole. They're great. But this work is deep, shadow, primal, mm. great, uh, reconstructive work. And, and that's why the effects are permanent. And they really are permanent. The, the, the medicine said not even death takes it away. So when you see people on the other side that are whole, so one, one, one great thing with, uh, with plant medicine is that, that most people have relatives that, are, that they're dying to see. And so during the course of their work while they're here, they generally get to visit with their, with their relatives. And, and what's super interesting is that, uh, you know, the spirit of that relative, which is the ego really, does not change. So if, if Uncle Tom was an asshole when he was here, generally he's an asshole over there. So it's like it's that, that this is work that's permanent. So when you make a change here, it's a change you carry forth forever. Not even death takes it away. Hmm. Early on, you alluded to this aspect of splits in a personality. And so I just want to tie in what you're saying and a little bit of what happened earlier. So what you're saying right now is the journey once we get there. So there's a live blood cell analysis. There's an aura photo. There is a full uh, medical checkup. So you're really in good shape. And I love that. I, I appreciate being held like that. And then I know from Dr. Jeff, you talked about, you know, we talk about what are your goals? We get really clear. We define them. You get an individual program, which is wonderful. This is not cookie cutter. And ways that you, strategies that, that are developed in order to achieve them. And earlier you were talking about the splits and I was thinking also, you know, trauma creates splits. I mean, this is a very shamanistic point of view that there's a trauma, right? And the way we protect ourselves, it's sort of like a multiple personality, most of us carries on, but the thing that was so traumatized gets stuck in that moment in time. And in uh, order to continue functioning, we go on. But what shamans have the ability to do, of course, is to go back in and reclaim them. And that's what I hear you saying. When yes. you say you went to the moon, you were able to be detached from your life and yet view it and see things that you could never concede to yourself had actually happened. And that's when the integration and some of the healing yeah. began. Yeah. So I know Dr. Jeff mentioned something similar. Of course, his situation, what he viewed in his life quite different. Yes. Is this something that happens for everyone? Do you have that disconnect and that viewing of your life or pieces that are of import? Or is Maybe you'll have it on one journey and not on another or never. How does that work? The majority of people experience something extremely similar. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And that's what's so interesting about, about plant medicine. See, plant medicine is trying to do three things for you. It's trying to show you who you become on earth. Uh -huh. It's trying to merge you back with your soul and heal your heart. And what is a soul merger? A soul merger, so all of us between when we're conceived, we have about 20% of the people split in the womb from, from wow. the parents are having it. So, so this split happens, and the split is uh, you just leaving your soul within your aura. Your soul's still within your aura, but you leave your soul to become something else that creates safety for yourself. That's mm. it. That's all it is. And this is just putting that back together. And so the medicine's trying to do the exact same thing for you. It's trying to, the, 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 the problem is, it cannot merge you back until you acknowledge who you become. 
because because without that, you're just going to split, split, split. The, the split can't hold. Uh huh. So it's crazy, but true. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. when you're acknowledging who you are. And maybe you're really just a glimmer of who you actually came here to be at this moment in yeah. time, right? Yeah. So then does that mean that you can actually get clarity, further clarity about your purpose? Like you got a title for your resort, right? You got a, you got a clear path. Oh, buddy, you're going back and you're going to be opening the doors to help other people. So right. can we get a lot of clarity or life shifts, co career changes, love changes, personality changes? The, the, the beautiful part that plant medicine says, the yeah, end the moon said, is that when you know who you are, uh, when you know who you are, you have a merged soul and you have a new heart, you know exactly what you want. You don't, you don't have like people come to plant ceremony with a hundred questions. Is <laughs> Right guy for me. Should I be working at Bear Stearns? Like pretty <laughs> many questions, right? And and the great thing about plant medicine is that if you if you just follow the program it's trying to do, mm. and you get merged and you get your heart healed, you know exactly if Dave's the right guy for you. You know where you should be working, where you should be living. You know if you're in the right relationship, the right job, the right physical location. You mm. know all of this. So the sign of someone who's been here and been through it is that they have no questions. So if you, and you can see somebody who's operating without question. They have definitive movements, they have definitive actions, they have definitive personalities that, that you know, I know what I want, this is where I'm going, uh, this is where I should be, those are, uh, amazingly good qualities and 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 they don't come from from having something else answer questions they come from being merged you know because yeah. nobody can tell you if dave's the right guy for you there's not a person on earth who can do that you know you know what i mean yeah. so let's say and and pete folks go go on the website right i mean you'll not only receive a great download of information, for those of us who are also visual, it's a beautiful thing because you can literally see this resort. You can see the beautiful statues and you can see this, I want to call it a maze, but it's not a maze. What did you, what did you call it? A labyrinth? Yeah. yeah, that's pretty spectacular. Yeah. Kind of spooky. I hope we can get out. But there, you know, you can check that out. And you, And what I find really fascinating is the photos and this seems very typical, these mats that are around in a circle, there's a shaman, you know, it's very beautiful. It's sort of a, a, an, a hut and you're protected and you have a place to lay down should you choose to. So I love all of that. Having not yet experienced it, let's say that a person has drunk the brew and an uncomfortable situation starts. Maybe it's frightening or confusing messages. Maybe it's a visions or sensations that uh, you know one doesn't know what to do with or process. So in your facility, not other people's, because I think it's quite different, you hold people. What is it that you recommend we do if that stuff comes up after we drink the ayahuasca or another plant medicine? Uh -huh. So with ayahuasca, the ayahuasca actually is trying to put you in a state of confusion, of mm. sadness, of conflict, of not understanding. Who oh, could it? Uh, <laughs> times. I love that. Uh -huh. You're beautiful, by the way. You have a beautiful way about you. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, fantastic. And and uh, and I mean that in the most sincere way. Mm. Your light is right on. So. But, but the medicine's actually trying to get you in a state of confusion and, and to reprogram you. So uh, what we can do for you is we can assure you that the state that you're in is the right state. We don't wanna change that state because now we're impeding the medicine's purpose if we say, oh, don't worry, things will get better and don't, don't worry. Like, that's not a don't worry place. It's a, this is a place of bring, you're going to go through it here. Anybody who 
who tells you that this is a walk in the park is lying. Mm -hmm. You're just a liar. Uh, out of those 95%, 94.72 that get this, this miracle to happen, all of them, without exception, will say that at one point during the week they wanted to leave. Uh -huh. So there's nobody that there's not an easy way to do this. Uh, you're looking at a lifetime of therapy and corrective action in one night, in one week. It's, uh, this is a hard work. This is not, this isn't for the faint hearted. If you, if, if you're really not serious about your own transformation, there's a lot better things you could do with your week than, than come here. Mm. Uh, this That's is wonderful. really for people who are serious about change, serious about progressing, serious about changing themselves or their family. This is, uh, this is hard work. And so if that is to happen, so let, let's say in, 100% in, like I kind of love the bring it aspect of life because healing like this compared to a gazillion years where you may never get ahead or incrementally, that's not appealing to me. I mean, I know I came here to do big things, but really I also came here to have a damn good life. So sure. you know, happiness is, is not underrated. Uh, I want to say, so, so sitting on the mat, perhaps something happens, probably something happens. Is, are there facilitators? Are there shamans? Are there people who can understand how to communicate with you while you're in the plant medicine state? Absolutely. Yeah. So, so what we have that nobody else seems to track is we have metrics that, so I keep data on everything. So we know the sweet spot of, of healers to, to clients and, and support staff to clients, what the right number is. And it's, it's less, uh, in other words, if you make, if you go too far, too, too much help, the miracle rate suffers mm. uh, because a lot of this is a, an experience of me and relying on myself and without enough it suffers but there is a sweet spot and we hit that sweet spot and that's what creates the the miracle rate that we have here yeah well i hope you all will ponder and i'm going to take a very quick break and i just want to preface by saying if something's stirring in you, I'm just going to ask you to trust that. And I'll tell you why in a minute. And I've got an exclusive offer for you because it would be awesome to create the money to go to with me up, right? And take a beautiful trip there uh, inside and out. And it's not an expensive place, by the way. This is extremely doable. Um, I think Gerard made sure it was doable for everybody to yes. receive this healing. So I, I really felt the the intention there. And also, if you just want to create great things, there's a unique deal with Thinkific available only to you where you can create, you can market, you can sell your own online courses. Thinkific's powerful all-in-one platform makes it easy for you to share your knowledge, your growth for your audience, scale your business. And you could be reaching 10 students or if you prefer 10 million. Whatever it is, think if it gives you the easiest technology, the best support in the business. And wouldn't it be fabulous to just have three months of free business platform? That's what I'm offering you. So go to thnk.cc slash Deb. It really is like amazing. The highest companies right now are using this and a lot of transformational leaders, you know, my products are there. I'm so enjoying it. As a Dare to Dream listener, three months free, think if this business plan, you can set up your own online courses. That exclusive deal, thnk.cc slash Deb. And this is Dare to Dream. Again, please vote for us at the podcast awards, People Choices, we're under entertainment. And I'm interviewing Gerard Powell, who is the founder of Rhythmia at Rhythmia.com. Gerard, let's see, uh, so many questions, so many questions, so many questions. I'm going to start with you. What do you do on a bit daily basis that keeps you grounded and keeps you in a space that feels really delicious to you? Uh -huh. It's unfair because I live here. 
<laughs> so like, I, I don't have a choice. I get up and there's yoga going on and mm. farm to table organic food and colonics and medicine. And like, I live, I honestly live in a bubble. So when I, it's so crazy. Uh, I lived in Malibu for years and, 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 uh, uh, and even when I go back to Malibu, it's too chaotic for me. Like I live in such peace here in a really peaceful bubble. Uh, but, but I noticed that, you know, people that, that we, that we work with, yeah, that, that our star little army of 6,000, uh, when they go home, the, the thing that becomes super important to them is having a daily practice. And, 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 and being mindful of what they eat. If they can do those two things, it, it can make such amazing changes in their life. And, and you know, you don't have to spend an hour in meditation. As a matter of fact, most people that have jobs really can't do an hour of meditation a day. It's just the, between jobs and kids and families, it's just, you know, the, the 2000s in the United States are not designed for an hour meditation a day. It's just not. So little things like 20 minute meditations or, or spiritual mind treatments or, or transformational breath work, 99 breaths, um, things like that make such an incredible difference in what, what happens with, uh, with people when they go home. It's the, the single most important thing that that I think can be done with them. Hmm. I'm looking forward to that. I heard great things about the breath work. And yeah, the breath work is great. Yeah, I've heard it's very, very powerful. And so I just wanted to ask people this question to give you a little nudge <laughs> because, yeah. you know, I can only say, I'm being real, I had a lot of judgment about this stuff. And life, my life is very interesting, how things present, right? Which feels like a very S word and I've never done S, so forgive me. But I just literally mean, I think the universe is pretty clear. Uh -huh. I, m many years ago, read Stealing Fire by Stephen Kotler. Uh -huh. Wow, which talked about things like plant medicine and Molly MDMA ecstasy. Uh, healing PTSD and, and doing for people what nothing else could do. And that was the first time I was like, okay, I need to take all that judgment that I've had and put uh -huh. it here. Yes. And as, as life would have it, he has now been on my show. We've had sumptuous conversation. I'm now taking, I'm a writer. I teach writing. I help people take their books to bestseller. I help people get interviewed. And now I am going to learn from a master and go take a workshop with him. In between all of that happening, another piece of flow is that I hear from a friend of mine in December, he's going to this place called Rhythmia, do we wanna go? And I'm like, oh. I was still a bit in that oh, state. And you know, like never say, oh, because it's gonna come back and be a yes. I agree, that's oh, right. Right? And yeah. when it came back, it was, it was a train thing after person after situation put in front of me put in front of me put in front of me i'm suddenly like okay i'm a yes i'm gonna go do this i don't know where i'm going i don't know what it looks like and boom i meet your team like kind of <laughs> out of nowhere i connect with you i meet your team and it's everything i would have wanted so i love I, that i can feel confident and once that's done I contact my radio station and say, I want to do this thing, but I'm so sure it's illegal if I say it on air. They're like, no, go do it. We're going to go do it too. Uh, how cool. How cool. Then I take a hike in Southern California. I come off the mountain the wrong way alone with my dog. And I end up in a parking lot near a police station and there's a ceremony happening in the middle of a public park. And I'm clear, this is for me. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And then I know Josh. Josh, who's a friend of yours, reaches yes. out to me. And I'm like, connection, connection. I look on Facebook. My, my dear friend Natalie is saying, oh, I'm in Rhythmia. Just changed my life. <laughs> 
And more recently, 4th of July, I'm walking out with some friends of mine who said, uh, we brought it up. And um, they said, oh, can we go with you in October? And it's just been people I never thought would even ask. So uh-huh. it hasn't stopped. I'm loving all of this affirmation that uh-huh. I'm meant to go and have this experience. And I am also so grateful for the conversation with you and Jeff and the others from Rhythmia coming on because actually the nerves that I had are really quelling and the excitement is getting pretty ginormous. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, fantastic. We're excited to have you. Super excited. You're going to do great. I can see in your eyes, you're at peace. You're going to do good. You're going to do very good. Yeah. Well, what is there some shit that the moon said that you can tell us right here <laughs> that would be helpful to us? Yeah, like if this, I, I'm going to just say this to you. If you hear this and you think, oh, that's bullshit, it's not your time. If you hear this, and you think, oh, that's bullshit, but something in me is drawn to it. That's your soul's response to wanting to to heal again. Uh And that's your soul's response to wanting to merge again. So the longer, so things, once it snaps with you, then it has you. And so you can try to get away, but it's gonna keep drawing you back and drawing you back until you do it. And, and that's the thing, this is, it's, it's been calling to you because it wants you to do it, yeah. And some people will do, will they do it once and never again? Yes, yeah. Some people do it once and they're done forever. Uh-huh. And some people want to go deeper and deeper. You can merge your soul nine times because there's nine aspects to your soul. But, uh, but most people merge once and they're, they're good for the rest of their life. Yeah. And is, are there always snakes and archetypical characters or not always? No, because there's not always anything. It's not, mm-hmm. it's not always the same for everybody. You know, it, it, it varies and it's different for, for all people. Yeah. So this is Dare to Dream, Jerry. Lord, you've lived quite a few lifetimes in this one. Yes. What do you next dare to dream? What are your future dreams or goals? My, my thoughts around what goals are has changed dramatically. Mm. So, you know, for the rest of my life, if I can be involved in this kind of business and be in the healing arts in this way, uh, I'm, I'm doing everything that I would like to do. So I have, uh, I have this project and then a spiritual dating software application that's oh, cool. coming in August called Rhythmia Love, Our Love. And uh, it's an amazing thing. So I'm working those two things and that's it for me. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And what is the possibility of meeting a sloth when one comes? Yeah, they're around. You know, there's an anteater who lives right, right here. So you can have an anteater, some snakes. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh my God, that's so yes, cool. Real. Yeah. And are sloths, I, I don't know, are they approachable or are they quite yeah, wild? There's, there's actually sanctuaries that, that have them, they can pet them and everything. They're, they're oh around. my God, this is yeah. bucket list. Lots of monkeys, a real lot of monkeys, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm, I'm rather obsessed with sloths. I think they're the most hilarious, adorable. I need more sloth energy, for sure. I'm a go-getter, so I need to be more. Just relax. Yeah. Really. I will connect with my spirit animal while I'm there. Fantastic. Well, I cannot wait to meet you in person. This has been just a divine time to connect and to get to know you. And I'm so sorry for all you went through because it sounds uh, really painful. And yet, I'm so uh, grateful you were willing to go that far in your life in order to come back and bring this level of treasure to all of us. So thank you. I'm so happy to be your guest. I, I, I'm number one, I'm looking super forward to meeting you. I'm thrilled to be your guest. I think you're going to do wonderfully here. I really do. I think this is going to be just the most amazing experience of your life. Yeah. 
I yeah. feel this as well. And so people who are interested, I will be there October 12th through the 19th. You can go to rhythmia.com. They take really good, really good care of you. And, and I, want to, I do want to say one thing. There's, there's people that have lived all kinds of lives yeah. that come here and say that that last night was the greatest night of my life. And I mean, that's people that have lived life. I mean, actors and actresses and football players and golfers and da da And surfers, yeah. I mean, that say this was the week that changed their life. So cool. Yeah, and a lot of them are on YouTube. By the way, besides this book, they also have a really great documentary out. You can find it very easily and for free, by the way, on YouTube. So check it out. That will also, if you're feeling the call of the wild, it'll bring you in even further. And I end today's show with a quote from Graham Hancock, which is, there are all kinds of ways to challenge ourselves. Some people do it by climbing a mountain or scuba diving. The most profound and challenging ordeals is to drink ayahuasca. It is, in a way, the ultimate adventure. And next week, because this conversation keeps going, I've got John Jacob, who is the director of marketing for Rhythmia Life uh -huh. Center. Yes, DJ is going to be here. And he <laughs> serves through healing and teaching. He's going to be talking about the universal principles that govern our lives. And for those of us who go to Agape, I go once a month to a Sunday service. I love that. Right? He is one of the practitioners. So this is going to be wild to find out how he started there and ended up here. Again, subscribe to this conversation. And remember, the secret of success is having the courage to begin in the first place. Thank you, Terry. Thank you again. Thank you so much.